Let's take a simple exercise in solid works. Engine valve cover and we will see some basic features how to implement on any model. So this is your model. All dimensions are in millimeter for education purpose. Okay. This is the top view, this is side view, this is bottom view, there is side view and there is one section view also there. See section AA. You will see here. Now first we will make body. So first feature extruded boss base. So total length you will see here 508 and width 161.1 and depth 63.5. Okay. So I am going to choose here top plane sketch. Now activate center rectangle and draw one rectangle. Right click and choose select activate smart dimension. Now this is going to be 508. Okay. Now the vertical length. 165.1 now it seems fully defined sketch extruded boss base now here we need to keep start condition same end condition or direction one keep blind you will see the arrow moving upside so you can drag it by just uh, simply dragging arrow or here simply apply dimensions 63.5 Okay, let's do one thing. Okay. Okay, now it looks more visible. So, now there is a 8 number of holes. Six, see the diameter 6.67 through all. Counter bore diameter 22.23. Depth 55.88. You will see here 55.88. So, the whole depth up to here. Then there is a one small hole. You will see here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. But location for this hole you will observe at bottom. Now see this hole 10.16 millimeter from horizontal and vertical distance. This all hole are in same. Now hole position. You will see from end to hole. From end to hole. Then this is also from end to hole. End to hole. Okay. So let's implement this whole wizard so before going to implement i am simply going to make a sketch for location of hole so i am going to activate here let's say center rectangle now select this for construction okay small dimension 10.16 Similarly, the vertical 10.16. Okay. Now here apply activate point. Now place it. at all corner. Now I am going to implement one here. One here. Sometimes it's going to mess. Okay. Now, let's apply some important dimensions for this whole location. So, from bottom, distance from here to outside, 188.77. Now, select this one. One fifty eight point twenty nine. Delete this distance from outside actually. One hundred fifty seven. Okay. That's it. Let's check again. See the upper side it's this one and uh, lower side 151 and 180. This is at lower side.
that's fine now simply exit go to whole wizard now here let's okay the whole is already applied metric hexagon screw now here uh, forget this one let's keep normal and here i am going to apply the things so here i am going to apply 6.76 the diameter this one the counter bore diameter and this is going to be 22.23 and the depth of counter bore diameter and this is going to be 55.88 keep end condition through all let's say position now all the things applied by default because uh, now just rotate and see the position of holes and everything say okay and look now let's make these holes see diameter 20.32 position 120.65 then from here 146.05 select this face sketch activate here oblong straight slot smart dimension now first we have to select diameter forty point six four now this is going to be distance One twenty point six five, and the distance from here to this edge twenty two point six five. Okay. Now here select extruded cut. Keep through all. Now here by default we to edit this one hole position right click exit now select this hole center one delete this okay now this this is already fully defined so I am not going to define again even if you want to define something some missing element you can do it something. exit linear pattern now here direction I am going to select this now here I am going to put distance 146.05 two number of units now here I am going to choose feature select this reverse direction you will see the preview there are one two three numbers okay see now you will see here in section view there is a five degree taper see five degree you will see these lines are five degree taper you will observe here five degree taper even from inside you will observe but the main thing the tapered going to apply only the holes not outer body outer body is straight only these kind of holes need to apply 5 degree draft keep manual now select there are three types of uh, options neutral plane we have to select one plane and according to plane the related face going to draft 
there is a parting line even you can choose age or line for draft and there is third step but we are going to choose first step neutral plane and which is our neutral plane just let me check this is our neutral plane okay now face selected 5 degree now let's select the face 1 2 3 4 5 now select all the holes we created even small or bigger according to our drawing this is going to be happen even though these face also going to change okay we selected all let's come down and here choose show preview you will see 5 degree taper going to happen the face going to move 5 degree inner side you will see here say okay and look now do one thing let's delete this sketch now select this face convert entity similarly select this face convert entity select both the end faces convert entity and here choose extruded cut feature and here i am going to choose up to surface and select this surface say okay and see this is going to trim okay now the corner fillet 25.4 now these upper edge r5 and this vertical you will see 7.5 now let's apply fillet constant type fillet here in fillet parameter make radius 7.5 because first we are going to make vertical now let me select this one this one okay see with the help of those feature we don't need to select each and everything but just check carefully all the vertical line we selected only vertical all side say okay again fill it and this time i am going to keep fill a constant type and radius 5 mm and simply i am going to choose top face okay again fill it radius 25.4 and i am going to select one edge and you will see the first option so select connected to end loop three edges select this one and see this is going by default this is going to select all corner edges and here we go now there is a thickness 6.35 and internal radius also i am going to show here 5 mm see so how we will do okay let's go shell feature now 6.35 select this face and just show preview and you will you can see the preview say okay and here this is our now again go to fillet constant type fillet radius 5 mm and make, always check this show selection toolbar tangent propagation full preview select this one now look if i am going to select the face i don't need to choose all the edges one by one and here we go see so we did all the things step by step i hope you like it don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solidworks thanks for watching